Here we are at the Gunsmoke Traverse. This is a popular spot here in Joshua Tree to come burn out at the end of the day. It's 80 feet long. You're on your hands the whole way, so it'll get you a massive pump. If that's what you're looking for, uh, local history related to that, John Backer, a legendary hard man of the 70s and 80s, used to come here and climb the Gunsmoke Traverse from left to right, do a set of pull-ups at the end there and climb back from right to left, step down, rest, and then do that again and again uh, as his workout. I'm just gonna go once from left to right. Now this is a long endurance climb and so you'll notice I'm working really hard to stay on straight arms and move on straight arms as much as possible. I don't wanna do this because then I'm burning too much energy uh, and I'm really gonna be trying to keep my feet under me. Those are the two main things I'm thinking about. Now I think this first 10 or 15 feet is actually one of the harder sections of the climb. I see people making too many moves here, making small moves and using lots of marginal holds. My goal is to make as few moves as possible. And to accomplish this, I've learned a specific sequence that involves crossing through with both hands and feet to get from one really good hold to the next. The next section involves two big reaches. I do each of these by crossing through with my left hand to get as far right as possible, then leading with my right foot so that as I make the big move, I can pivot my weight over that foot while keeping my arms as straight as I can. This is the really big one. This next part is the crux for me. I used to fall here until I learned a sequence that works. The key to that sequence is right after this, right here. I cross through with my left hand and place it on the sloper in just the right orientation to set me up for the following move. One way people waste a lot of energy is by switching or resetting hands and feet rather than reading the route and using the holds correctly right away. Also avoid bouncing up and down and testing holds burning extra energy. After that crux the holds are great but the feet are really high so all my weight is on my arms. I conserve energy here by keeping my arms straight. Awesome rest coming up here. Another part of reading a route is planning the rests. Gunsmoke has a hands-free rest here at the halfway point, so I try to climb quickly and efficiently to that rest, then use it well. Using it well means if you're getting really pumped, you want to shake your hands both above and below your heart to remove lactic acid and bring in more oxygen. I'm not super pumped here, so I just catch my breath and chalk up. Coming up here is one of the few parts with really good feet. So you'll see I'll bring my hips in and get my weight off my arms for a second. Right there. Then it gets really steep again and the feet are slippery and kind of out from under you. In fact, in just a moment here, you'll see my left foot slip on the next move. Right there. That shock loads my arms and is not the most efficient. But basically I'm on jugs the rest of the way, though I am feeling the pump at this point, trying to move smoothly and quickly. One of the best ways to manage that pump is with proper breathing. Breathe deeply and slowly. One strategy is to breathe in when you move a foot and out when you move an arm. Another strategy is for explosive moves on shorter problems. Breathe out with every move. I like these moves up to that hold there. Take some core strength to keep your feet on way back under the roof there. Yeah, and I usually step off right there. Yeah, imagine doing 10 pull-ups and then climbing back and then doing it again. <laughs> the key points are body position is really important. You want your weight on your feet as much as possible. Consider keeping straight arms and flagging. Plan your sequence. Read the route as best you can. Make fewer moves, but don't skip good holds to make unnecessarily big moves. And line yourself up on the holds correctly so you're set up for the next move. Plan where you're going to get a rest and try to climb efficiently to each rest and then stop and use that rest effectively. Think about your pace. You want to move quickly, but you need to be smooth. Don't rush and get sloppy, but don't waste time. And lastly, remember to breathe. 